Hey guys, what is up? My name is Martina and I'll be making a new video today. And just saying, so okay, so I got I have this blouse on. It's like supposed to be off the shoulder. It's really cute. I got it at Urban Outfitters because Haley Williams had it and I had to have it. And I got it for like six bucks because it was on clearance for sale. But it's gonna be going up and down like this. So if you see it like this, I gave up trying to put it down. But so I'm gonna be doing a new look today involving the Jawbreaker palette, of course, because I love it. I've been using it literally every day now, kind of. Like one day I, like, I did that yellow look, I did a pink look, and I mean, I haven't had it that long, so. And then these lashes have been annoying me. I really wanna take them off, but I can't, I don't know how to. I forgot to bring a spoolie. Okay, anyway, so I don't, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put my hair back. So I'm just gonna put my hair back just for now, so it doesn't get in the way for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I am gonna wing it. So, huh. I'm thinking of doing blue, but I feel like it's not gonna come out good because I'm scared. Oh, and also what I'm gonna try out new later on in the video, I got these from Ulta. It's the Urban Decay. I meant to say that I got the Urban Decay lip thingies from Sephora, not Ulta. Sephora. Stay Naked Vice Lip Chemistry Lasting Glass Tint, Glassy Tint. And I got two of them. I got in the shade Heavy and the shade Physique. And I'll try them at the end of the video. Oh, and I prep my lips with the Tatcha one that I can never pronounce for some reason. And then of course I have this. It's the Shadow Switch Makeup Brush Cleaner. Just in case I do darker shades. So I'm gonna open that up. So I don't know what look I'm gonna go for today. I'm looking at everything and I'm just like, it's a lot. So while I'm editing, I'm looking at like the footage and the whole time I am looking at this speck that's right here in my hair. It's like a fuzzy and it's bothering the crap out of me. That's the only thing I'm looking at. And I have this ginormous mountain on my forehead, so ignore it. I'm still debating, I don't know what to do. There's so many colors and I feel like I'm gonna mess up. So let me just, I'm just gonna start. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush, a Morphe M433 brush. Honestly, I prefer brushes like this. I don't know why, it's easier for me. So I'm gonna use the shade Cute, which is right here. And I'm gonna put that as a transition shade. So how has everyone been? I've been chilling. Feel like anyone asked me how I've been. Okay, uh, so back to when I was talking about this top, I was talking about Haley Williams. So Haley Williams is in Paramore, if none of you guys know that. And if you didn't, now you know. So Paramore, 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 Paramore. Favorite band of all time. Will forever love them till the day I die. I just love them. They are the best. I've watched them live two times in my life and I wish it was more than that. But whenever I got into them, it was whenever they came out with their self-titled album. One of my best friends told me to um, listen to them and I did, and I fell in love, fell in love with ever since. But I will for sure say that I love their first album with all my heart. And so I'm laying this all out, buffing it up forward, so they still know what I'ma do. I don't. This is a cute shade. And I like that it's pigmented and it's not like super duper light so I don't have to build it up a lot a lot. I think that's good for now because I still don't know what I'm doing. So now, what am I going to do? I'm going to grab bubble gum. No, I'm going to grab... Okay, I'm going to grab cherry wet right here and I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put that on the outer. Like in the mid, like right here. Oof, that went everywhere. Oof. Okay, let me grab a different one. See, that's where I wanted it. Right there. Do that to the other eye really quickly. I like that so far. Now, I'm just gonna pack it on there really quickly. Scrub all this off, and then I'm gonna blend it. I might grab some more. So I went to the museum on Wednesday with my best friends and it was like the funniest thing cause so it was last minute for me to go cause I tried to release my shift and I was like, well they were talking about it and I was like, I don't think I'll be able to go because 
I already had my work schedule. And then I saw people were asking to pick up shifts and I was like, yes, like, I think I'll be able to get on. So I requested all, someone picked it up, thank God. And we went to the museum because I haven't seen them in a hard for us to hang out because our schedules are all all over the place. And yeah, and so we went to the museum. It was the funniest thing because we went for some exhibit. I don't remember what it was called. We thought it was going to be like a lot in the exhibit. Oh, I'm going back to what the shade cute to blow this up with. And I don't remember what it was called. And it was like $17. And we were thinking it was going to be like a bunch of like fun little exhibits. It was literally just one. And we were so confused. But I still had fun. We were like messing with him, saying that like, that was it. Like, that's all we came here for. But honestly, I did have fun. It was really, really fun. Oh, I like how it's coming out so far. See, this is what happens when you wing things. It ends up coming out really good. And then watch when I say that later on, I'm gonna mess up. Cause that's something that happens to me. Cause there's like, since I'm blending those colors together, purple is coming up. So I might have to deepen it up with the purple. So now I'm gonna get the shade Delicious, which is this shade right here. Cause since it's purple right there, I kind of want to deepen it a little bit more. Just lightly, cause I don't want to put too much cause I don't want it to look too dark. I'm just going, honestly, you just gotta go back. That's what I'm, all I'm doing is just going back with the same shades to get the look that I desire. So every day I've been practicing to do eyeshadow because I'm trying to get better and better at it. I don't know if it's working, to be honest. I want it to because I really want to get better at it and I'm trying to get more comfortable with it. So I'm adding more of cute, ooh, cute above because I feel like it's like, it's like going away a little bit because I'm blending in the purple. I just realized I should have probably moved you guys a little bit closer. See, this is what I don't like about my eyes. See, like, it looks like I have no pink right here. But that's what happens whenever you have hooded eyes. Oh, I didn't even finish talking about Paramore. Okay, but yeah, love them to death. They are my favorite band of all freaking time. I listen to them literally every day. I got my mom hooked on them. Freaking love them. I have all the vinyls just to have because I love them that much. Sorry, I hear my dogs barking for some reason. I, I, don't, I mean, I know I hear it, like, not for some reason. I know there's a reason, but I don't know what they're barking at right now. I'm wanting to, let me see, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do a cut crease. I'm gonna cut the crease. With the cut crease, I feel like, honestly, okay, I do my mom's makeup and I feel like I do better cut creases on people than I do on myself. What I do is, so I'm not gonna go all the way I'm only just gonna do half. Sometimes what I do is like I draw the line and I look up because that's where I put my crease. So I go like this. Oh, I couldn't see my eyelashes. This is why I don't want eyelashes anymore. So I go like that. And then sometimes it has the line on where the crease will be. So like that. See, like it has like that line right there. So like, I'm just gonna follow that line really quick. This brush and then blend the inwards and that way so it doesn't have like a harsh line. Let's see how the cut crease it actually looks really good so far. I don't know what color to put in the cut in the crease though, or right there. Maybe maybe a bright color. Um, okay, I don't want to use a blue, purple, no, pink. No, I have pink right there, y'all. No, I'm kind of actually going for the pink. Like gumdrop, I'm gonna go with gum, gumdrop, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with gumdrop right here. It's that bright pink right there. And I might mix it in with good morning, which is this part, right here, this pink right here. So I'm gonna mix those two. I recommend you guys getting one of these. It's really, 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 really good, really useful. Yeah, so I'm gonna mix those two. And then, yeah, oh, and then, oh. So now I'm gonna go back with that brush that I used to get cherry wet and then blend those colors together. So it just doesn't just look like a harsh light right there. Guys, this looks like a mess to be honest. Hmm, let me try the other way. So guys, I already have planned. Okay, so I'm gonna make a um, vanity. My friend from work showed, like sent me a video on how to make one. Like some girl did it and she's like, oh, this looks like the easiest and the cheapest way to make one. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
So I'll be making one soon and I already have ideas already on what to do with my room because it is a mess, like I said before. It really is. It's the Christmas tree, half a Christmas tree is right here, like right next to me. I forgot to bring another mirror so I can get close up, close and personal with this. So whenever I went to Sephora, Sephora is right next to my old job and I don't go because of certain reasons. And, um, well, don't go to the job because of certain reasons. And, oh, so I'm going back with, I'm going with a raspberry, which is this dark maroon color. And I'm putting it back here to deepen it up. So I don't go for certain reasons. And I was leaving Sephora and I saw one of my old, old coworkers. I said hi, cause I mean, she was one of my favorite people at the time. So I said hi and she was like, oh, you should come by one day. And I was like, why like she knows why hmm, like why would i want to go uh, there's only like one person that like two people that i would go just to visit and i only go when i know that they are working and whenever certain people are and so you know just like oh, yeah i will come by one day never so i was just like huh no okay thanks bye and i left and it got me thinking because I did love that job. It was like my first job I ever, like first real job. And I loved it because I got really close with the people that I worked with that after I got off, I would go to, oh my God, sorry. I'm just hearing my dog barking. But what I was saying is that, so yeah, I would get back, get them Baskin Robbins because I mean, I didn't, I liked them. I saw them literally every day because at the time I did work almost every day. I was like, why not? Like, sure. It just gets me thinking like, and after a while, like, I left for a certain reason. And, um, sorry, I'm kind of mad because I'm like, okay, since I do have fake lashes, it doesn't look like I have any lashes because they're too, there's powder in them. But I do like the look so far. It gets me thinking, like, people go in and out of your life, basically, because I left and then after that, I would stop by a lot because they were my friends still. And then after a while, I just stopped going over. For some reason, the majority, like some of the people that I do like, I, I don't feel comfortable even going to visit. There's one person I do hang out with all, like I try to hang out with all the time, but it always has to be like outside of work. Oh, I'm getting snack, which is this pink shimmer shade. And I'm probably gonna put this in the inner, which is this one. I mean, I still try, I, I've been craving to eat there because I did like the food, but I never have time. And if I do, it's at a different, it would be at a different location. Ooh. Dang, I did good. So I'm gonna go back with Cherry Wet, blend that out again. I'm gonna put my hair down for now. It looks kind of weird when I don't have it. When I have it up, it looks kind of weird when I have it up. But yeah, people come in and out of your life and it's crazy because that's just the way life goes. You can't really do anything about it. I'm sad, but I, I've met new, I've met a lot of people and yeah so i try to keep i try to be positive all the time and yeah but right now i'm not being positive because my eyelashes shoo i tried to take as much powder as i can i couldn't i don't know how people can use eyelash extensions i can't i give up i'm gonna start a stick with false lashes now and my mascara but i feel like my eyelashes are falling off though i just feel like it so now with the lower lash. So what I'm gonna use, I don't know now because I really like this and I don't know what colors would go well with it. And my dog is in the front yard. I'm probably gonna use the same colors that I did with this. So I'm gonna go with Delicious and I'm gonna go from the back to the front. So I'm gonna go this way, do the right eye. Okay, so I did that. I'm gonna go with the raspberry. Blend it out with that one, with Delicious. Basically just doing an ombre effect. So I have Raspberry. So I'm gonna go with Cherry Wet now. Blend that in with the Raspberry because my eye can only fit so many colors. And now with my last color, I'm gonna do Bubble Gum. I have cracked the mystery of why my dog is barking. My neighbor just got chickens. Cause I was going out and I was like, there's nothing back there. And I was like, maybe there's a possum, but I don't think so. 
And then I looked, there's freaking chickens. They have chickens. And that's the reason why she's freaking barking like crazy. Honestly, I kind of like living for this look. Dang it, now that I'm thinking about it, it kind of looks like my other one that I did. Wow, I feel so uncreative. Anyway, so back to the look. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this brush and I'm gonna get Jawbreaker. I'll put it in the inner corner of my eye just to give it that little pop. Oh my God, there's so my dog, my dog can bark all day and I feel bad because I can't get her to stop. But I blame my neighbors because they did get chickens. Like what do they expect? So if they complain, it's not my fault. It's not. So I'm done with the look. I actually really, really like it. What I'm gonna do for my lips is get the Vice lips. I don't know which one to do. I haven't tried them yet. Okay, I'm probably gonna get Physique because this one looks kind of pretty. Put them on my Ooh. Ooh. It makes my, my it makes my lips look really natural, which is what I need because my eyes are bold. I think I overlined my bottom lip. I really like I really like this like it's really creamy it doesn't feel heavy and it's very natural well I mean it doesn't look natural now because I put too much I really really like it to be completely honest with you here's the look my hair looks like a complete mess sorry that my eyelashes aren't the darkest so okay so I have this eyeliner and it came with a bunch of them I used the blue one last time and I think I used one of the purple ones and so my older brother's fiance, which is who is the best person in the whole wide world and who is finally coming back into town sometime this month. And so she gave me, this is probably like the first makeup item I believe I've ever gotten in my life. And like, it was like a kit. And I think I was, I don't remember if I was like nine or 10 and I was liking makeup, but I never did it, I don't think. And then I was in love with like Hello Kitty and stuff. But she got me this one, it was from Sephora, and I wish I got like a, like, I could never find it ever again. I mean, I was like 10 at the time, and the only time I ever went shopping was with her. And then whenever we did go shopping, we would go to Sephora, and I would just look around. But it was this Sanrio, what was the Hello Kitty, the Sanrio Charmy Coal Eyeliner. And this is the shade Goodnight Dreams. And this is honestly a really good eyeliner. Like the eyeliners that I use for my waterline, that blue one and the purple one I probably I think I use are really, really, really good. Like this black one. Look how nubby it is. And I'm scared to always use it because I don't want to run out. Because once I run out, I can never find it again. So I'm gonna put that on my waterline. Cause look how like pigmented that is. And I it's like super creamy. This thing is honestly probably like 10 years old. Like to be completely honest with you Ooh. yep made this the, the best decision but yeah this is probably a good 10 years old to be honest yep that topped the lock and i'm super proud of it i am i am and i'm not going anywhere after this because there's just, I have nothing to do on a saturday night but yeah so this is the look like i said i wish my eyelashes could be darker i wish i could put mascara on them I really like this. Oh my god! Ah! But anyway, so this is the final look. I am really impressed with it. I love these. I mean, even though I haven't swatched the other one. But I know I'm gonna love it. But I really love this one. It makes my like lips look really natural. And yeah, I just didn't feel like too heavy and all that. So that's what I do like about it. Hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want another video, let me know. Even though I'm gonna make one anyway without you guys asking. So here's the completed look. <laughs> I really like it. I did a better job than I thought I would. But yeah, of course I like this eye more than this one. But definitely like this eye better than that side because of my hooded eye. Anyway. So yeah, this is the look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't really talk much. I have a lot on my mind that I wanted to say, but I was scared to say it. But yeah, if you guys would like to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.